guys! Alright, I am back. I know I said I'd upload a lot more than I have been, but uh, I'm back. I'm just finishing up med school. I have about two weeks left, so I thought I would do the rest of the board exams because I get so many emails uh, of doing these videos. So the first one I'm going to start with is Step 2 CS. Um, I have a Step 2 uh, CK coming. Um, hopefully it will be uploaded around the same time as this one. Um, so the CS is Clinical Skills. So this is where it's 12 rooms. You pretty much go in three, 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 um, and you have a break, a little bit of break after um, three rooms. Um, you go in, you shake their hand, you wash your hands, um, and that's kind of when you have 15 minutes to do the encounter, and then you have 10 minutes after there's an announcement, and you have to do your note on a computer. So you guys probably know what CS is by this point, but I wanted to kind of give just the gist that this isn't a written exam. It is more of testing your clinical skills, um, making sure that you are clinically competent to go into med school, to go into residency rather um, and it, it was actually kind of a fun experience so my experience overall was really good um, but you really have to make sure that you practice I know in a lot of forums and there's a lot of people writing me being like you know is it just like an English speaking exam and as long as you speak English and you're coherent then you can pass but that's not really that at all um, you really need to know your clinical knowledge um, and also your skills to be able to practice that in, in kind of real time um, they are standardized patients but they actually do a really good job of being kind of actors and actresses. Um, you know, I had one that was kind of curled up on the bed, leaning over. Um, you know, I had someone that was really, truly coughing. So, you know, you really have to make sure that you are not just kind of going through the motions and you are intuitive to what the standardized patients are giving you. Um, you know, if you notice a little Kleenex in their hand, ask to see it. It could be some blood, it could be mucus, it could be greenish in color. So you really have to make sure that you pick up on all the physical exams that they're giving you. Um, and so overall, what I did uh, to practice for this is literally just practice with my husband, Steve. That's all we did. It was just do physical exam after physical exam. I put a little timer up on my phone. Um, we'd hit start and I would do 15 minutes for the interview. And then after that was done, I had the free template online, which you can find on USMLE um, Step 2 CS kind of broad website. They give you what the template actually looks like. And there is a timer on there as well. So after that encounter was done with Steve, I would just kind of, you know, pretend that I'm really doing the live thing and I would go right to my computer and do the note. That saved me because time is a huge thing on this exam. 15 minutes goes by so fast. And what I didn't know is that even if 15 minutes is up, let's say you kind of hear the last uh, announcement in the room is this encounter is now finished. Your note time is already counting down after you say goodbye, you shake their hand, you come out, you sit down. It's already almost nine minutes. And that's what I didn't realize in the real thing. I'm like, oh my goodness, I gotta go. So um, that was the biggest thing I would say is just make sure that you do practice and get the timing down. Do I think you need to practice all 12 rooms all at once with your partner? No. Would I do about maybe five rooms back to back? I probably would. So I would do five you know, clinical scenarios and then practice doing five notes and that kind of builds up your stamina. Um, a lot of this is just practice guys. What I did is just the first aid for step two CS cases. Um, I can, I don't have it now because I sold my book after I was finished with the exam. I didn't think I needed it anymore. Um, but what maybe Steve can do is like edit it where it pops up and you can see the front of the cover. Um, it's just yellow. It says first aid for step two CS. There's like 40 cases in there. Um, Steve and I ran through all 40. Um, I also practiced a couple times with some medical student friends um, and we kind of just um, rotated it there was three of us where there was an interviewee um, there was a standardized patient and then there's actually someone watching the scenario and kind of giving feedback and tips that was actually a really good thing that I did as well so the step 2 CS is doable it wasn't that bad but really make sure that you practice because I know that there are some people that had trouble with it and just the timing um, so really making sure that you get your timing down you brush up on your clinical knowledge and your clinical skills to be able to put those into practice um, and then just having confidence and having fun. Um, it really was kind of a neat experience and you really did feel like a doctor kind of the whole day, which was kind of fun as well. So um, good luck and a CK video will be coming shortly. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys the feedback that I found from the exam and also what I did to do well on it. So good luck and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.